We hit the road early in the morning to monitor the security situation in Kampala and neighboring areas. This ahead of the much anticipated tabling of the motion in Parliament to draft a private member's bill to remove the 70-year presidential age limit from the Constitution. In many parts, security agencies are deployed heavily as promised on Monday by police spokesman Asan Kasinji. A number of police patrol vehicles and crowd control trucks were on standby while some were being checked for preparedness. This vehicle of the counter-terrorism police was seen patrolling around parliament and nearby areas. The police also siege on the headquarters of opposition parties, the Democratic Party and the Forum for Democratic Change, and the officers remained under lock and key the entire day. Some of the politicians opposed to the removal of the presidential age limit prepared for the day for fear that the police may arrest them. Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulani Sentamo, popularly known as Bobby Wine, did not spend the night at his home in Magere, Gayaza. He slept in his office in Kamocha, a Kampala suburb. Ready for parliament. We found him dressing to head to parliament. He later had breakfast of chapati and beans, commonly known as chikomando, a meal normally consumed by the city's low-income earners. He thereafter jumped on a Boda Boda motorbike. But the MP's vehicle trailed him, and on suspicion that he could be traveling in it, police also followed the car. The driver escaped the police granite and hit the vehicle. <laughs> Elsewhere, Democratic Party Vice President Fred Mukasambide, who was headed to Parliament, was arrested shortly after leaving his home in Machindi, Kampala. <laughs> he was whisked off to Chira Division Police Headquarters in Namugongo. DP President Nobat Mao made it to the parliament but he was also picked up shortly after and driven off in a police vehicle. Police also roughed up members of the Uganda Young Democrats who beat the odds to reach parliament. Whatever you are doing, we are doing it peacefully. Go. We are not supposed to stop the dictators. <laughs> In the city suburbs, crowds of people gathered around TV sets in bars, restaurants and baiting houses to follow the proceedings inside parliament being beamed live by NTV Uganda. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.